Today's broadcast is presented by Glenn Smith Chevrolet and GMC and Opelika. Go to glennsmith.com for more information. Get ready to smile. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC and Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT, now available with up to 13000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT, discounted up to $9,750 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive, discounted up to $8,000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. We love being able to go to the different high school, colleges, middle schools to live broadcast sporting events around the area. George Alabama Sports Live appreciates all the fan support, but without a presenting sponsor like Glenn Smith Chevrolet and GMC and Opelika, none of this would be possible. So we want to say thank you so much. Go to glennsmith.com. That is right, glennsmith.com. See all the inventory and see why people always say, get ready to smile. Thanks, everyone, and thank you to Glenn Smith Chevrolet and GMC for being our presenting sponsor. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy midsize three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. In center field, number four, Lawson Stratton. At shortstop, number 10, Brandon McCrane. On first base, number 25, Bryson Shepard. In left field, number nine, Jack Maddox. On second base, number eight, Houston Whale. On the mound, number 18, Brody Dixon. Right field, number 19, Alex Phillips. Catching, number 7, Lance Ballou. And third base, number 6, Evan Law. Please rise for the national anthem. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Georgia Alabama Sports Live. We're here in Smith Station, Alabama, at the Panther Den, and one of the best rivalries on this side, well, actually on both sides of the river, as the Central Red Devils take on the Smith Station Panthers in a regional matchup to finish out their season. Central, one of the, not the best team in Alabama, but one of the top 10 best teams in the entire nation. Coming in into this, 33-3, and three. the Smith Nation Panthers, 14-13. and 13. 
fourth in their own region, taking on a very uh, key matchup as they'll play tonight and they'll play tomorrow as Miss Station will travel to Central. Take them on in their arena. Again, we thank you for joining us for this broadcast brought to you by our sponsors, Columbus State University, Barringer Construction, the Chelly Vikings, and the Roger Beck at the Beck Center, and Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC in Opelika, Alabama. As we get this game started, we do thank you all for tuning in to Georgia Alabama Sports Live. If you're watching this on YouTube and Facebook. As Smith Station gets a start, excuse me, as Central gets the game started, make sure you give us a like and give us a like and subscribe to us on Facebook and YouTube. As we get this game started here, Jan is at the bat for Central, and he smacks that one up down the middle as the second baseman was not able to make that play. It gets in, and Smith Station starts this game off. What a man on first. Now batting number 15, Case and Page. Case and Page up to bat next for Central. Okay. Ian caught in the run down. And he is out. So Station was able to get complete the run down for the first out here in this inning. Case of first pitch is a ball up high. Second pitch is a ball down low. Counts 2 and 0. That one second in for a strike. Counts 2 1. Fantastic crowd out here for both Smith Station and Central, as it always is for these rivalry games. No matter if it's football, basketball, or baseball, the fans show up for this. It's a case that smacks out 1 5. The count is 2 2. comes a 2-2 pitch. And that one smacked towards the outfield. And center field is able to catch it for out number two. Number seven comes up to bat next for Central. Goes Key, Coach Kehoe for the Central Red Devils. He has his team ready. As he takes his first strike. Has his team ready as they get ready to again go for another state championship run. One of the most impressive teams we've seen in this area so far. They have played some gauntlets and some teams, including Smith Station this season. That one's taken up high, counts 2-1. There's a reason why the Red Devils are ranked number one in the Georgia Alabama Sports Live Baseball Poll. There's a lot of great teams out here, but nothing at Central Red Devils this season. That's one smacked real far out high, and the outfielder is able to make the catch. Central's able to get one on, but they leave him stranded as they go to the bottom of the first. Game still at zero. Yeah, we want to thank our sponsors. We also want to give a shout out to a lot of our special partners who've helped us out through this season. From Cutsu Sports to Double Covers to Sports Visions and PMB Radio. 
Um, we just want to say thank you to all of y'all. If you want to be a presenting sponsor, or if you would like to have your namesake or just uh, on George Alabama Sports Live, get in contact with Thrift Barringer and Richard Holdridge. You can reach out to them. As we get ready to get ready to go to the bottom of the first, we're going to take a quick message for one of our presenting sponsors, Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC in Opelika, Alabama. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC in Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Now available with up to 13000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT discounted up to $97.50 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive discounted up to $8,000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Now number four, Lawson Stratton. Lawson Stratton for Smith Station comes up the bat here at the bottom of the first. Welcome back to George Alabama Sports Live. We're down here in Smith Station for the backyard brawl. The Central Red Devils are down here finishing out their season against Smith Station. And uh, their last two games of the season, as they'll play again tomorrow at the Red Devils field. The Red Devils went one, two, three in their first inning. Let's see what the Panthers have in store. As that is taken for a ball. That's taken in for a strike. The count is one, one. Strike two, count is one, two. Ball high, it counts two, two. towards the pitcher, and it goes up down the middle. And the Panthers, first hit of the game, got a runner on first to start this game off. Replicating the same thing that this, excuse me, as Brandon McCain comes out the bat next. Panthers trying to replicate the same success that uh, Central started off as they had their first hit base. His first pitch. Run on first. Nobody out here in the bottom of the first. Takes that one for ball one.
Brandon smacks that to shortstop. He throws it to first. Excuse me, he throws it second to first for the double play. I like that Smith Station. Has two outs here in the bottom of the first. Up the back next for the Stage Panthers is 25. Bryson Shepard. Bryson takes the first pitch, it's fouled off into the Smith Station fan stand. For strike one. The Panthers playing evenly good baseball this year. They don't have the same record as Central, but so that's taking it for strike two. They have Played a lot of great teams, split with them, won some series. Can finish out the season 500 or better. So that's taken for ball, counts one and two. Currently sitting at 14 and 13. They have this game and tomorrow's game to either finish 500 or a little below 500. And that one smacked right out to the right field. Out for a base hit. Panthers again. With their second hit of the game. Got a run on first. Two down here at the bottom of the first. Now batting number nine, Jack Maddox. Jack Maddox is up and back next. Let's see if the Panthers can get an early run here. At the bottom of the first. Jack gets ready for his first pitch. He takes that for a strike. Jack hits that one, it's popped up. Playable. And caught for out number three. Red Devils gave up two hits, but no runs as we get ready to go to the top of the second. Still scoreless here. We'll be right back right here on Georgia Alabama Sports Live. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy mid-size three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC in Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT, now available with up to $13,000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT, discounted up to $97.50 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive, discounted up to $8,000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Welcome back to Georgia Alabama Sports Live here in the top of the second. Red Devils are back up to play. He smacks that one foul for first strike. That one's hit towards the shortstop. That's the second base line. Red Devils again with a single right around first. Sam Brown comes up next, number 25 for Central. As 
They got a runner on first, nobody out here in the top of the second. Sam takes the ball for his first pitch. His time is called. Run off first, looking for his opportunity. Sam waiting for his 1-0 count. That's taken for ball two. Samson at a 3 0 count. And he walked them. Ball four. Central got runners on first and second now. That's number six, Chris Kelly. That's number six for Central. Chris Kelly comes at the bat. Nobody out here in the top of the second. Kelly shows bunt, but that was a ball, so it counts one and oh. bunt off and he is able to advance the runners although he's out at first the runners do move to second and third so Smith Station got themselves a little bit of a jam early two runners to score a position Brinks Cameron comes up the bat next number nine here for Central looking to get his guys to come home Rinks takes a ball. That one's taking the first strike. It counts 1 1. Take strike two down the middle. Count is one and two. The pitch was 74 miles per hour. That one's popped up, playable. He's able to make it, and he is. However, running from third is coming home, and he is able to score. Two down, the Red Devils do get on the board first. They lead one nothing here at the top of the second. Runner at second, still on. Up next is number four for the Red Devils. Cooper Kehoe up to bat. Pitcher making sure runner on sta second stays. As any hit will most likely score him. Kehoe pops that one foul bat towards us. Thankfully, he didn't hit anyone for his first strike. It's 
a very nice day for baseball out here. Griff and I were at the Pacelli Vikings game yesterday at Heritage. It was a gorgeous day for baseball well, but it was very, very hot today. Not the same. As that one has popped up, playable, and caught for out number two. Panthers do give up one as they get ready to go to the bottom of the second. Again, we want to thank our sponsors, Barringer Construction, Pacelli Vikings, Roger Beck and the Beck Center, Columbus State University, and our presenting sponsor, Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC, over like Alabama. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after a few messages. This segment of Georgia Alabama Sports Live is brought to you. We love being able to go to the different high school, colleges, middle schools to live broadcast sporting events around the area. Georgia Alabama Sports Live appreciates all the fan support, but without a presenting sponsor like Glenn Smith Chevrolet and GMC and Opelika, none of this would be possible. So we want to say thank you so much. Go to glennsmith.com. That is right, glennsmith.com. See all the inventory and see why people always say, get ready to smile. Thanks, everyone, and thank you to Glenn Smith Chevrolet and GMC for being our presenting sponsor. Today's broadcast is presented by Glenn Smith Chevrolet and GMC and Opelika. Go to glennsmith.com for more information. Get ready to smile. Back to Georgia Alabama Sports Live. The Red, excuse me, the now, Panthers eight, up to bat Houston, next. Wales. Wales is up to bat number eight for them as the Panthers are down one nothing early in this game. The Red Devils pitching has been pretty much the lead as that one is single towards the shortstop and he makes the routine play the first for the first out here in the bottom of the second. Panthers pitch has been great too. Brody Dixon has come up to bat number 18 next. As both these teams know each other pretty well. That one smack back foul for a strike. Here's the old one. That one is hit pretty far out towards the center field, excuse me, left field, and it is caught for out number two. Now batting number 19, Alex Phillips. Number 19, Alex Phillips is up to bat next. Yes. Almost sold out crowd here at the Panthers Den down here in Smith Station. Alex takes that as strike one. If you're watching this broadcast and you want to come down and see it your per person yourself, please do. There's still some rooms down here. It is a great day to be out here. Support these two teams. That one is fouled back towards the stands. Count is 0 and 2. Oh. 
That one's thrown in the side. Ball one, counts one and two. Take it down low for ball two. Counts two and two. It is smack foul. First baseman's trying to make an attempt, but he's not able to get there. Count is still 2-2. Good hustle by him, though. After this game tonight, stay tuned. The Georgia Alabama Sports Show Live will be airing momentarily after this game. Expect that around 8, 8 15, 8 30, depending on the outcome uh, when this game is finished. That one's chopped towards the shortstop, and he makes the throw the first, and he's able to get him in time. Central taking a one nothing lead here, going to the top of the third. As we're going to take a couple of commercial breaks ourselves. Again, thanking our sponsors, the Pacelli Vikings, Roger Beck, the Beck Center, Baritron Construction, Columbus State University, and Glenn Smith, Chevrolet, GMC, and Opelika, Alabama. Do not touch anything, as we'll be right back right after this. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy mid-size three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Welcome back to Georgia Alabama Sports Live here in Smith Station, Alabama, covering the Central Red Devils, taking on the Smith Station Panthers. Central leading 1 0 here at the top of the third. As Brewer comes up to bat, he takes a ball for his first pitch. These two teams will be seeing each other tomorrow at Central. The Panthers will travel over to the Red Devils stand as that ball is fouled back. The count is 1 and 1. Tomorrow on the broadcast, we will be broadcasting the Troop Calvary Christian game. That one's fouled back. The count is one and two. Please stand. Please look forward to that one. The Behringer will actually be at the Columbus Lions tomorrow. He'll be calling that game on the Columbus Lions' web, uh, YouTube page as they play a Thursday night special. That one's fouled back towards the first base. Counts to one and two. Friday, we'll be at it again back at Calvary Christian as they take on north side. And then Saturday, we'll finish it out with CBCC baseball and softball. So you do not want to miss any of those. Because that one is taken up high. The count, that's for ball two. The count is two and two. He's safe. Good hustle by 
central there as he was able to beat out the throw and get it safe. Yon comes up to bat, number one. Run on first, nobody out here in the top of the third. Central looking to extend his lead. Pitcher making sure the runner stays on first. Don't want him to get too comfortable. Yon is showing bunt, but he was throwing for a ball. Counts one nothing, one oh. Red Devils thirty three and three on this season. Ranked the top team in Alabama. Uh, top ten nationally ranked as that one is hit into the outfield. And it is count for out number one. Of the bat for Central Next is number 15. Kaysen ready, We're waiting the first pitch. Let's take it high for a bunt. I mean, excuse me, take it high for a ball. He was attempted to show bunt, but had to move out the way at the last minute as that ball was high. Runner gets back on first base safely. Runner goes as a second for a ball, and he is safe. Central again, got a runner in scoring position, one out here in the top of the third. Kaysen with a 2-0 count. As time is taken for a second, umpire want to let the both managers know it is 2-0. Number seven for Central on deck. That one's fouled back. Count is two and one. That one is hit towards the shortstop. He's going to make the long throw to first. He's able to get him. Runner does advance to third. Two out here at the top of the third. Number seven comes up the bat next. Now batting number seven, Landon Beaver. It's Landon Beaver. Landon to look to get his comrade home, extend this lead. He takes a ball for his first pitch. And at the fence, he was able, Smith Station was able to make the play. It hanged pretty high. If it just went a little further, it would have been out the park, but instead it's out number three. Central strands one, but still take a one nothing lead as they get ready to go to the bottom of the third here on Georgia-Alabama Sports Live. 
Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC in Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Now available with up to 13000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT discounted up to 9750 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive discounted up to 8000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy midsize three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. We're about to hear Georgia Alabama Sports Live. We're getting ready to go to the bottom of the third. The Panthers trailing the Red Devils 1 0. They get ready to go to work. Number now batting number seven, Lance Ballou. Lance Ballou, number seven, comes to bat. As both teams only have two hits so far in this game. First pitch, take it for a ball down low. He swings at that one and misses. Count is one and one. Swings at another one for strike two. Count is one and two. Take it up high for ball two. Count is two and two. Swings and misses on that one for strike three. And he goes down to first out here, the bottom of the third for the Panthers. Number six comes up to bat next. Now batting number six, Evan Long. Evan Long comes up to bat. Evan <laughs> takes strike one there. And he is hit by that pitch. So he will take his base. The Panthers got one on here in the bottom of the third. Lawson Stratton, the number four, comes up. Looking to get Evan home or advance him further down the line. Lawson takes ball one.
if it gets back home safe excuse me gets back to first base safely Panthers looking to do whatever they can to get on the scoreboard here That's taken for ball two. Counts two and oh. That's taken for a strike. As you can hear from the fans, a bit controversial. As it did look a bit, as it would, did look kind of a bit low, like it was in ball territory, but um, call it a strike, so the count stands two and one. Moss is able to get that one, and it gets through. Evan makes his way around the third base, and he will stop right there as Lawson is able to single through at Smith Station. Well, one out here in the bottom of the third, but have runners on the corner. Brandon McCrane coming up the bat next. Looking to tie this game or better take a lead. Coach Kehoe's coming out to talk to his players, round them up. It's been a very good, tightly contested game so far. Pitching has been great on both sides. The run to score run from Smith, uh, excuse me, from Central, really just came from just a couple of singles and just uh, sacrifice fly. Other than that, Smith Station has done a great job defensively. Now the Panthers looking to get on the scoreboard. Runners on the corner, one out here in the bottom of the third. Brandon comes up to bat. Backs that one foul out of play for strike one. Red Devils catcher, first baseman, did try to see if they can make that play. Best scoring opportunity so far for Smith Station in this game. That is taken for a ball. Count is 1 1. That is taken for a strike. The count is one and two. Brandon hits that one out to the field and caught at the fence. However, that is gonna bring in the runner from third. And the Panthers have tied this game up here in the bottom of the third with two outs. They have tied this game up. Runner still on first. Very similar to how Central scored their first run in the top of the second. The Panthers, too. 
get a run off a of sacrifice sacrifice off a of sack fly. Now batting number twenty five, Bryson Shepherd. Bryson Shepherd comes up next. What's the best thing you can do to tie the game? Take the lead. That's what Bryce's attention is as he comes at the bat. Bryson able to get that one. Oh, excuse me. Bryson, I thought he did get it through. He did not. But doesn't matter. As the Panthers are able to get one there to tie this game up to go to the top of the fourth. We got a good one here, folks. Don't go too far. We'll be right back after a couple of these messages. We love being able to go to the different high school, colleges, middle schools to live broadcast sporting events around the area. Georgia Alabama Sports Live appreciates all the fan support, but without a presenting sponsor like Glenn Smith Chevrolet and GMC and Opelika, none of this would be possible. So we want to say thank you so much. Go to glennsmith.com. That is right, glennsmith.com. See all the inventory and see why people always say you're ready to smile. Thanks, everyone, and thank you to Glenn Smith Chevrolet and GMC for being our presenting sponsor. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC in Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT, now available with up to $13,000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT, discounted up to $97.50 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive, discounted up to $8,000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Welcome back here at Georgia Alabama Sports Live here at the top of the fourth. Hunter for Central comes at the mat as the Panthers are able to tie the game up at the bottom of the third. Hunter, as the umpire asked, did he go? He said he did, so that counts for strike one. That's taking in for strike two. Count is 0 and 2. Hunter hits that one back to the pitcher. Shortstop's able to take it to first baseman for out number one. Now batting number 25, Sam Brown. See if he's not shortstop, I think second baseman. My apologies. Hunter for Smith Station, excuse me, Central's at the bat. He smacks that one foul. Actually, no, excuse me, he smacks it in playable. And it is caught for a quick out number two. Just like that. Red Alabama Devils two down. Chris Kelly. Chris Kelly's up to bat again. Kelly got on base last time. That one's ball. Thankfully, Kelly was able to move his head out of the way. Right down the middle for strike one. Counts one and one. Kelly waiting the one one pitch. Right in there, the corners for strike two. Kelly had a one and two count. And the Panthers have found their stride dealing early. Two down here, the top of the fourth. They waiting to get back in action. It's 
time is called. Discussions being made about the baseball. Make sure, making sure everything is good. The ball was thrown into the dugout from the space station side, but everything's good. So we're back here. One, two, pitch coming up. Take it into the dirt for ball two. Counts two and two. Kelly swings and misses on that for strike three. And the Panthers get a one, two, three inning here as they get ready to go to the bottom of the fourth and get ready to go back in action, hopefully to take a lead. Again, we want to thank our sponsors for making this broadcast possible from Barringer Construction, Pacelli Vikings, Roger Beck at the Beck Center, and Coach Corey Blackman, Columbus State University, Shout out to Flight Director Jay Sparks. And our presenting sponsor, Glenn Smith Chevrolet ZMC in Opelika, Alabama. Can't thank them enough for all they do for us. Bottom of the fourth coming up here on Georgia Alabama Sports Live. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy mid-size three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Welcome back to Georgia Alabama Sports Live here. Bottom of the fourth. Jack Maddock comes back up to bat for Smith Station. A tied game here, 1-1. One, one. Panthers over to break the tie in this inning. First pitch to Jack. We're going to miss from Jack there for strike one. Taking that for a ball. Count is one and one. Second for strike two. As the count is one and two. That is a ball two. Central fans thought that was strike three. As it stands, the umpire calls the ball. So it's 2-2 two -two count. And comes the pitch. Jack's able to get that one through the line. Pass first base. And Smith Station again. Runner on first, nobody out. Here in the bottom of the fourth. Yeah, 
Kiwis at the Baffert Smith Station next. He shows bunt. Misses that. And that's strike one. Throws back the first baseman, make Jack get back where he stands. Try to keep him in place, but wait for this opportunity. Here we waiting for his 0-1 count pitch. He swings high at that one for strike two. Counts 0-2. Fouls that one back. Got a battle here, eight. Counts 0 and 2. That's taken in for the first ball. The count is 1 and 2. Overcast sky over here in the Smith Station. It's brought in a nice breeze here on this Wednesday evening. Watching these two teams battle it out. And Huey is able to knock that one far back on the left field, but it is caught by the left fielder for out one. Runner at first still stays. Brody Dixon is on the bat, on the mound now. One out here for the Panthers. Pitcher makes a throw to first. Making sure the runner stays. Swing and a miss for strike one. For ball one, the count is one and one. That one is hit. It falls down. That's the runner from second. Excuse me, the runner from first was a bit confused. Jack wasn't sure where the ball has landed. He didn't know it was going to land down or not. He didn't want to get doubled up. So instead of having runners in the corner, Spencer does have runners on first and second. One out here down in the bottom of the fourth. Understand the hesitation because if the ball is caught again, you don't want to get doubled up. So it is best that he just played it safe and got on second then it being caught and he has to run back to first with a double play. But Smith Station is trying to cook something up here. Runners on second and first. One out here. And that is taken for ball one.
take it for ball two. Panthers putting a little test on the Red Devils here. Bottom of the fourth. Two balls, no strikes. Third pitch. And that one is hit pretty high, wound out to the outfield. And it is caught at the wall. The runners will retreat back to their bases. The Panthers have two down here in this bottom of the fourth. Now batting number seven, Lance Blue. Lance Blue is back up to bat. Number seven for the Panthers. Panthers got another great scoring opportunity here. Two down. Lance waiting for the pitch. That's taken in for strike one. for ball one, counts one, one. Did he get him? He did not. Jack is able to get back on the base safely. Great move by the central pitcher. It was pretty close, but Jack was able to make it back on the base. Count is 1-1, one, one, two down here at the bottom of the fourth. Panthers looking to do something. Swing and a miss there for strike two. The count is one and two. Second time the Panthers have had runner, two runners and on bases from scoring position in this game. It is taken for high for ball two. The count is 2-2. Two, two. Three. Got ourselves a full count here. Three, two. Yeah, boy. And that one is hit. Force the shortstop, excuse me, second baseman, but he's able to make the play the first. Panthers, strand two, here in the bottom of the fourth after we get ready to go to the top of the fifth. truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful full-size and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy mid-size three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Today's broadcast is presented by Glenn Smith Chevrolet and GMC and Opelika. Go to glennsmith.com for more information. Get ready to smile.
Welcome back to Georgia Alabama Sports Live as we get ready here for the top of the fifth. Just a little quick reminder to y'all, after this game, the Georgia Alabama Sports Show Live will be debuting. Drift Barringer and Tyler Redman. I was going to call him Richard. I apologize, Tyler. Drift Barringer and Tyler Redman talked all night about baseball and so much more on this week's broadcast. Let's see. Strike one is given. Start here at the top of the fifth in this tight game. That one, it's hit pretty high, and it falls. So he makes, number nine makes his way, and Central starts off this inning with a double. Cooper Kehoe back up to bat. Kehoe shows a bunt. Does it go far enough? Strike one. On uh, deck for Central is number two. Kio showing another ball, excuse me, um, bunt, but that's taken in for a ball. Central is just trying to advance the runner on third. Another great scoring opportunity. Pitcher throws back to second. He's able to get back on. Runner's able to get back in time. Ten situation here. Central finds himself in another scoring position. That bunt lays down, and it is played perfectly by the first baseman for out number one. However, the runner does move to third. Now batting number two, Brewer Williams. Brewer Williams, number two up the bat. Central got a runner on third, one out here, top of the fifth. He shows a bunt, it's laid down. Is he able to make the play? And they are not able to make the play. Runner is able to get on first and the run comes home and Central retakes the lead, 2-1 here in the top of the fifth. A fantastic bunt indeed. That's the first baseman ran to get it. Ever Young comes up to bat next. But it was not able to get the runner at home nor first. Ever smacks that one, popped up, playable, and it is caught for out number two. Kaysen's up the bat next. Central 2-1 lead here, top of the fifth. Kaysen on the mound. Pitcher throws back to first for the runner. He gets back in time.
That ball gets away. And the run. runner finds himself on second. One ball, no strikes. We'll take strike one there. He was a count at 1 1. Takes that one low. The count is one, excuse me, two one. Another high ball. The count is three one. Let's retake the lead after Smith Station tied it up in the bottom of the third. Two out here in the top of the fifth. That is taken for a strike two. And we got ourselves a full count. Kaysen, 3-2 pitch. He smashed that one foul. Out of play for the first baseman. Kaysen hits that one and it drops in the middle. And the runner from second is going to score. And Central. Kaysen hits a double, and Central adds on to their lead. 3-1 here in the top of the fifth. Kaysen found his pitch down the middle. He took advantage of it. Central with some two-out magic here. They have scored two in the top of this fifth. Landon Beaver comes back up to bat. Takes ball one. BU takes another ball. The count is two and zero. Oh. Central's only have four hits so far in this game, but those four hits have produced three runs. Landa gets back on second. Smith Station trying to just get out of this inning without giving up any more runs. That ball gets away, and the runner from going to take third standing up. Landon has a 3-0 count here. A little discussion among the players. This is 
been the longest inning for Smith Station so far. This has been actually a pretty quick ball game, tightly contested. But Central has put on two runs. That is taken for strike one. That ball gets away. Runners is going to stay as that was ball four. Central continuing the two out magic. Runners on the corner here. Now top to fifth. Three, Hunter Whippert. Looking to even extend the leads more. A 3-1 lead for Central. Hunter takes ball one. Another ball to Hunter. Count is 2-0. How this game is going, a 3-1 lead. So that's taken for a strike, 2-1. I was gonna say the way how this ball game is going. 3-1 lead could be very difficult to come back as scoring has not been a premium so far. Both teams have pitched very well. That one smacked down the middle, it will drop. And Central adds on to the lead. And the Smith Station did not play the ball well there as they did not throw it to the second base. So Hunter takes second standing up after a little mixed communication there. So the Central lead extends to three. As they lead 4-1 with, again, runners on second and third with two out. Sam from Central comes up to bat. He takes strike one. That one's taken for a ball to count as one and one. One is fouled up but out of play as it lands towards the Smith Station stands. Folks got out the way, thankfully. <laughs> I apologize for laughing. It was the reaction from a group of people. I have been hit by a baseball before. Trust me, it is not a pleasant feeling. So well, I should say I've been hit by a foul ball before. If you're not expecting it, it's not pleasant. But that is taken a, nearly a 15 minute inning. The Central Red Devils take a four to one lead here going into the bottom of the fifth. Again, we want to thank our sponsors. And we want to give a shout out to some of our good friends from Kudzu Sports to Double Covers to Sports Vision and to our sponsors, Columbus State University, Barrett Construction, Pacelli Vikings, the Roger Beck Center, 
and Glenn Smith, Chevrolet, GMC, and Opelok, Alabama. Thank you so much for all that you do for Georgia Alabama Sports Live. We really cannot express our gratitude um, to all of them as this has just been a fantastic season all the way back from football season to here to baseball season as we get ready for the baseball playoffs and more CBCC action. This tomorrow we will be covering the Calvary Troop game. Rick Beach from Kutsu Sports will be on the call for that. Make sure you tune in to watch that. Drift Barringer will be at the Columbus Lions calling their home game on a special Thursday night. They're playing on a Thursday evening because the our local hockey team, the Columbus River Dragons, are in the playoffs. And they got a playoff game. Actually, they got a playoff game tonight. And they got a game on Friday. So if you're not checking out the one tonight, you make sure you're there Friday. That is going to be a raucous crowd. And then Saturday, we got nothing but some good old baseball and softball from CBCC. Both the Pirates and Lady Pirates will be playing. And we'll have all all coverage on that one with Thrift Barringer, Thrift uh, Richard Holdridge, and myself. So don't miss out on all of that. And again, after the after the continuation of this broadcast, the Georgia Alabama Sports uh, Show Evan Live will be up. Evan As Evan Long comes up to bat for Smith Station, finding themselves trailing three, four to one here at the bottom of the fifth. Evan takes ball one. That's taken for strike one. The count is one and one. Foul back counts one and two. Space Station, nine more chances to tie this game up or take the lead and win it. Evan swings on that one for strike three and the first out here in the bottom of the fifth. Now batting number four, Lawson Stratton. Lawson Stratton, they're back up the bat. This has been an evenly matched game. Central scored first on the top of the second, but Smith Station was able to respond back at the bottom of the third until recently at the top of the fifth where Central scored three to take this lead they currently have. As that is taken for strike one. Foul back, strike two, counts 0 and 2. Again, these two teams will be playing again tomorrow at about, I think, 5.30 at Central High School at their baseball field. As that is hit towards us, the fence. That would be a wild pitch if someone was on. As it stands, it's a ball one. The count is one, two. Right. Here comes the one, two. As now it's a two, two. It's taking for ball two. Next week, we have more baseball action as we get ready for the playoffs. We'll be covering Calvary Christian and Glenwood as they start their postseason runs for their another bid for state titles. A great pitch, but in there for ball three, counts 3-2. Three, 
There's a number of teams I believe will win a state title this year. You're watching this game right now. It's featured some of them. That one hit towards back the pitcher, but runners able to make it in time. That's It was a good hit ball. It rolled a little slowly. Give it up to um, Landon. It's Brandon McCrane comes with the back. Give it up to him for hustling and making it on the first. Smith Station, again, got some real estate here in the bottom of the fifth. One out. Runner on first. Take it for ball one, but the catcher makes a throw at first. Runner gets back in time. Count is one nothing. Sensation has six hits, but so far have only produced one run. They do have an error. Is that a take it for ball two? And he got him. That time he does. For out two. Understandable Smith needs to, is trying to be a little bit aggressive. Again, they're down three runs. Trying to make something happen. Unfortunately, he did get caught that time. That is popped up. Playable for first baseman. And he makes the routine catch. After a one hit, Station down to their last six outs as we get ready to go to the top of the six in this game. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy mid-size three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC in Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Now available with up to $13,000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT discounted up to $97.50 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive discounted up to $8,000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Welcome back to Georgia Alabama Sports Live here in the top of the six. Central back up to bat after taking a three run, uh, adding three more runs to the top of the fifth to take this 4-1 lead here. Chris Kelly is on the mound. Excuse me, Chris Kelly is at the, up to bat. He takes ball one. Kelly hits that and it gets through past the shortstop and he gets back on first. Now, 
batting number nine, Briggs Cameron. Briggs Cameron, number nine for Central, coming at the bat next. Able to catch the run of Stilling, out number one. Rick swings at that. Counts 1-1, one, one, strike one for him. Swings and misses again, strike two. Counts one and two. Ball's taken into the dirt. Counts two and two. Counts three, two. Takes ball four. So Central had a runner caught stealing, but it still got a runner back on the base. One down here at the top of the six. Cooper Kehoe's back up the bat again. He has gotten on base twice so far in this game. Last time he bunted. And he swings at the first pitch. It's popped up, and it's caught for out number two. Coach Kehoe's coming out the top with the ump. As he's making a substitution. Cam Norton, substitute hitter coming in, in for number two on Central. Cam takes ball one for the first pitch. Cam hits that one down the first baseman line. And Central, two out again. Runners on first and second. Trying to repeat what they did at the top of the fifth. As, as they had two outs. As they had two outs at the top of the fifth, but scored three runs. Yawn back up to bat. Coming up on 7.34, 6.34 Central Time. Jan takes strength one. Smith station six more outs to try to tie this game up or so. As that ball drops and gets away and the runners advance. Again, Central, two outs, Magic, find themselves, got runners at second and third. Count is 1-1. One, one. Swing the miss on that one. Counts 1-2. One, That ball falls right into the outfield. He's able to make the catch. 
out in left field. Central is trying to threaten again, but uh, strand two, as we get ready to go to the bottom of the sixth, Smith Station, not too many more chances to try to tie this game up or to take the lead here on Georgia Alabama Sports Live. We love being able to go to the different high school, colleges, middle schools to live broadcast, sporting of shades, all the fan support, but without a presenting sponsor like Glenn Smith Chevrolet and GMC and Opelika, none of this would be possible. So we want to say thank you so much. Go to glennsmith.com. That is right, glennsmith.com. See all the inventory and see why people always say you're ready to smile. Thanks, everyone, and thank you to Glenn Smith Chevrolet and GMC for being our presenting sponsor. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy mid-size three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Welcome back to Georgia Alabama Sports Live here at the bottom of the sixth and Central with Smith Station taking on each other in the backyard brawl of baseball. Bryson Shepard's up on the Panthers trailing three in this game. Two more innings, excuse me, well, six more outs this inning and the next inning to try to tie the game or take the lead. As that is taken for strike one. Two teams will meet again tomorrow afternoon. And that is dropped for a double. And he's going to get there safely. Central maybe they're gonna switch pitchers. And they are. Excellent job by that young man. 